Greetings, welcome to another Alpine Soft video. Today I'm going to show you how to rip a CD with Windows Media Player. We get quite a few inquiries about this, so we thought we'd show you how it's done. It's really very straightforward. Uh, the main limitation of Media Player is it only supports a modest range of file formats, but if you can live with those, it's as good a way to do it as any. So here I have Media Player already running. Uh, this is running on Windows 10. Uh, you can certainly do this back to Windows 7, so that probably works for most people. And uh, what I'm going to do now is put a CD under Drive. And when I do that, after a moment or two, Media Player will notice. And what it then does is it tries to find Sorry about that. Tries to find a track listing from an online database, Gracenote I think it is, that it uses. And um, depending on sort of CDs you like, it might find one or it might not. In my case it's found it. Uh, tears rolled down, Greatest Hits by Tears for Fears. And here are the tracks all listed. And it came up very quickly because in fact uh, Media Player has seen this particular CD before. It keeps the database of all the ones it's seen, um, but it usually only takes a couple of seconds anyway if it does succeed in finding it. So now what we do, uh, we've got here RIP settings. We've got a choice of formats. Actually, there are more formats there than I thought. Um, FLAC would be a good choice for a lot of people. Uh, we're going to import these files into Vinyl Studio when we've ripped them, and Vinyl Studio quite likes FLAC, so that's what I'm going to go for. Audio quality, well in the case of FLAC it doesn't matter because it's lossless, so you'll get a perfect rip. And that's really all we need to do in terms of configuration, so now I'm going to start the process of actually reading the tracks off the CD and storing them away as FLAC files. And off we go. Over here we have our RIP status. It says ripping 10%. And this is going to take a while, so I'm now going to pause the video until it's got near the end and then we'll pick it up again. OK, well I was a bit late there, it's just finished. Uh, you can see it took about, I don't know, 5-10 minutes. And you can see here that all of our tracks have been ripped to library. That actually says it's gone off the edge of the screen. And if we now come up here and have a look it's in our library, then there's the album. Tears Rolled Down Greatest Hits. If I double click that, there are all the tracks. And that's what we wanted. That's job done. And as you can see, it's really quite straightforward. Now, as I said, we're going to import these into Vinyl Studio so that we can use the audio cleanup tools and things. Um, and to do that, we need to know where they are. So if I right click on one, and say open file location. Let's shrink this window down a bit, move it across so you can see it. Uh, you can see here, uh, well, almost. Okay, up here in the breadcrumbs bar, you can see that they're in your music folder under the artist and album title. So they should be easy enough to find when we want them. OK, that's it for now. Uh, I'll show you next time how to import them into Vinyl Studio where you can work on them in whatever way you want. Thank you for watching and bye bye.